Hello, my name is Leandro. I am a Maximo L2 support engineer, and today I'm going to show you how to configure service layers. To get this explanation started, I'll move to the Map Manager application. Uh, in your case, you'll probably have to configure a Map Manager record from scratch. But for this video, and to make it shorter, I already have one that is uh, pre-configured. And this is the map service, which I'm going to be doing the, the service layers configuration. So click on select layers. To make this work, please be aware that you need to have a feature server configured on the GIS side and let's choose for example water mains let's expand the line and choose a gis object name let's say w main and let's treat it as an asset okay good now we just have to click on GIS configuration. Here are all the attributes that you're going to bring over to the maximal side. And usually you just leave everything uh, selected. If you don't want to bring uh, any, some of those uh, attributes, you just uncheck them, no problem. In this example, I'm just going to leave them all selected. Okay, good. So now we have created the GIS object, which is W main. And here we have a relationship, a default relationship, which is one equals one. This is not valid to make a link between a map feature and a maximal record. So we have to choose an attribute on the maximal side to be linked with, the, with an attribute on the GIS side. Uh, as a good practice, we usually create a new attribute in the maximal side so that we, we avoid uh, the possibility of a collision of uh, values. So let's go to the database configuration application. Yeah, let's save. Now let's search for the asset table. Click on attributes tab. And let's create a new attribute. Let's call it facility ID. Please notice that the type has to be AOLAN, both on the maximal side and GIS side. Otherwise, it's not going to work. That's a product limitation. Uh, let's go to the same as object. And let's select that GIS object, which we created in the previous step in Map Manager, which is uh, W main. All right, and let's select the same as attribute. Let's select uh, facility ID. Here it is. Okay, good. Now let's save. And let's enable admin mode okay let's turn it on all right good let's apply configuration changes
All right. Now that the change was made, let's turn off admin mode. All right. Now we will move back to the map manager application. So this is the last step to configure the service layer, establishing the relationship. Neuro, let's get the attribute on the maximal side facility ID operator is equal to and the attribute on the GIS side is facility ID as well to make things easier and click OK that's it. Now that the configuration is done, you are you'll be able to make a link between a maximal record and a map feature on the GIS side. Uh, that's all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you for your time, and have a good day.